guys, Audrey in the Young Hollywood studio. Shannon Woodward from Westworld, who says she's a human being, but I'm not, I can't be too sure. I don't know. I'm a human woman. You are? How's your robot dance moves? Oh, yeah. they're strong. Oh, yeah? Oh. This is it. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I don't know. In Westworld, they all look, they're very convincing. They're very convincing on that show. I know. Congratulations, by the way. Thank it's, you very much. It is a fantastic show. I'm a huge fan already. Did you ever think that you would get such a response when you when you sign on to the show? Yes, but only because, <laughs> I mean, listen, I can say this because I don't write the show, I don't make the show. All I do is show up and talk. You know, right. I, I, I just do the little bit. So, you know, for us, it was so exciting as we started to get scripts and, um, I mean, we were like essentially the first audience, mm -hmm. you know, like, cause we don't know we're, we're in the same boat, you know, they t I find out week to week as we're finding stuff out, which is fun. So, I, you know, I'm going around theorizing and just the same really? stuff you guys are doing. Yeah, yeah, we're doing the same thing. We're like arguing. We we still are. As soon as, <laughs> as soon as that started happening while we were shooting, I was like, guys, this is going to be crazy. Yeah. You are a legit sci-fi geek. Yeah. yeah. So what's it like also being able to be on a show that speaks so much to that audience, to the heart of that audience? It's the best. I, my my dad is really into sci-fi and he's really young and he is a programmer. He and, is? Yeah, he wrote so OS2, he... which is like a pretty, pretty famous program from the 90s. It's in your DNA. Yeah. Like, I mean, when I told him that I was close to getting the job back in the day when we were, when I was auditioning, mm -hmm. he was like, okay. He's never really been particularly excited mm -hmm. about it, just because he's a nerd, and so he's like, "Nah, I don't care." Yeah. That sounds fun, Shannon. Glad you're having a nice time. <laughs> um, and uh, and then when you got the lost job, it. Yeah, yeah, he lost it. It's very cute. Um, so I've seen Westworld, and I'm really into sci-fi. I mean, I think the first grown-up book I read was The Andromeda Strain when I was, I don't know, Ooh. fourth grade or something. Yeah. So it's very my vibe. Yeah. I feel like I'm in a dream world. It's nice. You brought it around. Yeah, back it's a good, to, nice. a good time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's the geekiest thing about you? Oh God, I don't know. I mean, I play video games. I'm a normal. I read a lot. I'm nerdy. I'm just, but I don't do anything freaky. I'm just a millennial. <laughs> I'm just like a curious millennial. You know? You're not freaky. You're geeky. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. I like that. I mean, when it comes to like getting down some of the language, you do play a programmer. Yeah. Did you go to your dad for advice? In terms of like how people code, it's like you don't actually see me coding and it's not like I went to my dad and was like, teach me Ruby on Rails so I can feel like I'm really coding. <laughs> I mean, the computer language, they're so far advanced that it doesn't matter. It's just act like you know what you're talking about and you're superior to everyone else because you know how to code. You're just connecting, you're connecting emotionally with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know what yeah. my dad was like when he'd be like, leave it to the coders. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad. That vibe I know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I checked out your Twitter. Oh yeah? Yeah, and I I have to admire just how uncensored you are. I mean, do you ever think, oh, you know what, I, I shouldn't tweet that out, I should hold back a little bit? Well, I try not to say anything that's offensive to anyone, and it, especially when I disagree with people, I try to do it in a way that's funny or use their own words to disagree with them. I mean, no, I don't, because I don't really have much to lose. I think, like, I am who I am. I try to be tactful. My parents raised me right. Um, <laughs> You know, it's healthy to have a dialogue, and I think it's important for, especially all the young girls and young men that follow me, that like, it's good to set an example. Like, have your voice be heard. Like, care, listen, be empathetic, you know? Mm -hmm. Don't treat people like shit on the internet, but have a discourse and respect yeah. people and learn empathy. And yeah, I just think it's important. So, you know, I'm sure sometimes it gets boring for people, but feel free to unfollow. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the ma that's the magic yeah, of yeah, social yeah. media. Exactly. I'll be doing the opposite. I will be I'll be giving you a follow. Oh, thank you very much. You know what? You're welcome. I appreciate I'll, that. I, I, it'll uptick you just like that. Boom. So much. Yeah, I know. Um, when the sentient cyborgs finally rise up, mm -hmm. what's your what's your plan? Shannon Woodward's plan? Shannon Woodward's plan, yeah. You mean like in the real world? We're getting world. really real I was like, here. are we talking about, what are we talking about? <laughs> um, I mean, I feel very confident that I won't be alive, but so it's hard. My brain is just kind of like, I mean, it's not happening anytime soon, but Google, you need to chill out <laughs> with all that Android AI development. I know. <laughs> my plan to put up a fight. Okay. okay. I'm to put up a fight. Yeah. I have my nunchucks. If, I, mean, I have if, a, a yeah. lot of bottled water stored right. somewhere. Maybe your plan should just be to find my apartment. I'm open to that. Okay. Maybe you can Uber over. Yeah, I'll Uber. There, there yeah. you go. That's a good idea. Or Lyft. Oh. Yeah. So you, you can make all the plans. You're yeah. on my apocalypse team. <laughs>